Hello children, today we are going to do an activity and in this activity we are going to learn the property of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle. So let's look at the materials that we require. Colored papers, scissors, sketch pens, a ruler, compass and a pencil. Now let's start doing the activity. Please observe what are the steps and what's the procedure. So first of all what we have to do is we have to draw a circle of any radius on a colored paper. So take this colored paper, use your compass and a pen or pencil and draw a circle of any radius. So now, after drawing the circle on a colored paper, you have to cut it. Now, name its center as O. After that, paste the cutout on a rectangular sheet of paper. Now, take any point E that is outside the circle. After that, from P, fold the paper in such a way that it just touches the circle. And why did we do so? So that we get a tangent and now we are going to name this tangent as PA. So A is the point of contact. Now after that from P again fold the paper in such a way that it just touches the circle to get another tangent. So again we take a ruler and with the help of a ruler we try to fold the paper to get the second tangent. And we name that point of contact as B. After this, now we will join the center of the circle O to P, A and B. With the help of a ruler, join the center of the circle O to P, then A and B. Now fold the paper along O, P. In this way. What do you observe now? You can see two triangles, right? So this is our first triangle. O, P, A. And then we have another triangle OPB. Now, if you observe carefully, triangle OPA and triangle OPB completely cover each other. Now, length of OA is equal to length of OB. Now let's measure the length of OA with the help of a ruler. So keep your ruler straight and measure it. So we can see the length of OA is equal to 9 cm. Now what do we do next? We now measure the length of OB. 
carefully measure the length of OB. It is also equal to 9 cm. So therefore we can say that length of OA is equal to length of OB. Now we will measure the length of PA. So again take your ruler. With the help of a ruler you measure the length of PA which is equal to 13 cm. After that we will measure the length of PB. Which is also equal to 13 cm. So what can we conclude from this? We can say that length of PA is equal to length of PB. Now we will measure angle AOP. So AOP. We are going to measure this angle. So use your protractor. Keep it in the center and measure. So you will see that angle AOP is equal to 55 degree. Now use your protector. We will measure angle BOP. So keep your protector properly and measure it. So angle BOP is equal to 55 degree. Now Take your protector out and we will measure again angle A, B, O. So keep your protector and you will see that angle A, B, O is equal to 35 degrees. Now we will measure angle B, B, O. So put your protector again. You will see angle BPO is also equal to 35 degrees. So when you have made all these observations, so what conclusion can we draw from this? The tangents drawn from external point to circle subtend equal angles at the center. And the tangents drawn from an external point to circle are equally inclined to the line joining the center at the external point.